Hey there everybody, welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for the Nintendo GameCube, the PlayStation Network, and Xbox Live Arcade. And of course, the Dreamcast bundle that was released on the, well, Xbox 360. Haha! <laughs> we are now assaulting De uh, Dr. Eggman's base in Final Egg. This is the last stage of Sonic's playthrough, and once we get done with this, we are done with the game. So, well, well, we're done with Sonic's playthrough, and then we start another character. But um, I will, I like to make a correction um, in response in regards to my last video. In my last video, I actually said that I died during Lost World. Um, I didn't. <laughs> However, I did die during this part, during this video though. Yeah, um, it's been a while. As I mentioned, this has been a while since I've played um, Sonic Adventure, and I died quite a bit in Final Egg. And I'm getting ready to die here in just a few moments. Um, it is arguable that the platforming in Final Egg is a lot more difficult than in. Um, over at the Sky Deck, and I just died. Um, some people will think that Final Egg is more difficult, and some people will think that Sky Deck is more is more difficult. Um, your mileage may vary. I think Sky Deck is a, a bit more difficult, but your mileage may vary. Um, the platforming here is pretty tricky, and I was being reckless in this video, like I was throughout the entire playthrough, and I ended up dying a few times. That is pretty sad, actually. <laughs> oh boy, I was just... I mean, I wasn't feeling it. I was rushing the vi I was rushing throughout the playthrough. I was being reckless, and I could have played this game a lot better. Yeah. Death number two! <laughs> but yes, there were, there are some tricky... There is some tricky platforming in the game. Well, n not just in the game, but in the um, level. Some of it is pretty easy, and others is quite difficult. Uh, this isn't too bad right here. You know. And... Now all you have to do is your from here you go to the next part. Zoom zoom zoom. <laughs> you hit the button right here, the floor opens up and the platform is raised. Now if you fall off here, you will fall to your death and have to start over from the last checkpoint. These mallets that swing back and forth, they're not too bad. At least this first one's not too bad. The second one is a bit more difficult because you have to make sure not to hit the handle part of the mallet. Because if you do, it can mess up your jump and you will fall to your death. You have to time that jump just right in order to get past it. And I did not, so that was the third death? Yeah, the third death. My, oh my, oh my. I need to play a lot smarter than what I'm doing right now. Oh yes, go Sonic, go! Go, go, go! Spring and hit the button! There we go. The platform rate goes up, it rises, and we're back here again. That jump that wasn't too bad. We just have to time it just right here. Time it right. Time it right. And we made it! And I fall off. And yeah. Great. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Uh, this time, though, I am much more careful. Will the third time going through this area be the charm? Will it be the charm? Um, I hope so. 
I really, really hope so. <laughs> I don't like dying. I really don't. <laughs> Bleh. Um, let's see. Um, I will say that for Tails' playthrough, um, um, well, a lot of his playthrough is identical to Sonic's, so I'll likely be talking about different things during his playthrough. Um, well, that's pretty much about it. I mean, I, I'll talk about a random, random assortment of things, maybe talk about the Arch Comics, Sonic Adventures, um, Sonic Adventure, um, um, storyline that was done for the Archie comics. Um, I will probably talk about the Eggmont Fleet Way Sonic, the comic that was released in the UK. I'll talk about that. Um, I may talk about Sonic X. And I got hit. Rats. But beyond that, I'm... I mean, I'll have a few things to talk about in addition to the gameplay. Oh, by the way, do not fall off here. Time your jumps well, otherwise you'll fall to your death. <laughs> Yay. So yes, um, I will have a, quite a few things to talk about in the next playthrough, which will be coming up soon. The next playthrough is, of course, going to be Miles Prowler's playthrough. Miles Prowler, for those who do not know, um, he got he received a nickname from those that teased him. His nickname is Tails. And yes, we'll be doing his playthrough next. It may take me a little while, probably a few days, because I need to record the playthrough. Because <laughs> I didn't record all of Sonic Adventure in one go. Um, I probably should have, but I didn't. So, yeah, um, that will be next. By the way, don't bother destroying these things because, well, they keep respawning, as you can see right there. So just try to get to the ladder and be on your merry little way. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's see. Oh yes. Oh boy, did I die? Oh no, did I die? Did I die? No, I didn't. Not this time. I honestly thought I died right there, but I didn't. I came very close, though. <laughs> um, anyway, let the fans propel you upwards towards the doors, because, well, that's the only way to go. And from here, let the fans propel you downward towards that door. And there we go. And we got a speed up. Do 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 And oh no, I'm falling! I'm falling! I missed the platform I was I was supposed to land on, so Use the springs to go right back up! And this time I will make it. There we go. And just have the fan float on the fans, guide and have just guide yourself over to that door. And that's pretty much it. Don't bother destroying these things because they keep respawning, as I mentioned before. Although I hit a few anyway. <laughs> go through that door right there. And we are... Well, we're nearly done with this area, actually. By the way, don't... Those robots, their heads will separate and they'll trap you in a field. The field won't damage you, but at the same time, though, the robot... The rest of the robot's body will come after you. And we just passed some dolls. Like a Sonic doll and Knuckles doll and Tails doll. Oy vey! No! <laughs> All right. Um, if you have the lightning shield, be very careful right here because the lightning shield attracts rings, of course. 
and you have to use the light speed dash in that area, and yes. well, we managed to get through final leg. So next will be the boss battle between Sonic and Dr. Eggman. So we're going to listen to some plot, and then after that, I'll cut back in with some more commentary. Yeah, so I'll bad. be back in just a moment. This is the Egg Viper. By far the hardest boss battle for Sonic in the entire game. Well, it's arguably the hardest one. I mean, either that, either this battle is harder or Chaos 6 is harder. What you want to do is dodge some laser blasts, and when he says, see if you can make it through here, Sonic, you. Just jump on the glowing parts of the Egg Viper's tail, just keep homing, actually you have to homing attack those until you get to the cockpit, and then homing attack, homing attack the cockpit, uh, cockpit! And he's gonna release a blast right there, then after that, go for the tail again, homing attack the tail, there, and there we go. I would like to say that he releases, if we wait too long, he releases three energy balls, but I don't remember for sure because it's been a while since I let him complete that attack. <laughs> so I really don't remember what he does. Um, I would suggest you watch another playthrough to find out what it does because I don't remember. Homing attack, homing attack, homing attack, homing attack! What I should have mentioned before is that on each, on the far end of each platform that you were on, there are some rings. It's a good idea not to collect all those rings at once because, well, if you get hit, then you'll need rings. You just have to, that's easy to dodge right there. That's not too bad. And he does this again. Homing attack, homing attack, homing attack, and hit the cockpit. Not bad so far. Now what's gonna happen? More lasers. More lasers. Hmm, now what? Oh yes. There are some discs that are on the sides of the Egg Viper that he will launch at you. And of course the discs are lined with spikes and of course he'll try and hit you with them. What you want to do is stand on those discs af after he launches them at you. He'll retract the discs, and then after that, you just hit the cockpit. And we only have one hit left before the Egg Viper is history. There we go. And we're done! We've managed to defeat Dr. Eggman! We have saved the day! Yay! Oh, he's up to What's he up to now? Um, you have to move really fast. You don't want to stand in one spot when he does for too long when he does that. When he does that, because if you do, he will ram into you, and if you're not fast enough, you will fall to your death. But then again, I managed to dodge it just fine, and Eggman 
is out of the running. Ha ha ha. So we have my yeah, we have managed to beat the game. Well, we've beaten the game with Sonic. But we still have other characters we need to play through. And Eggman is getting away. Bye, Eggman. The song that you're hearing in the background is called It Doesn't Matter. It's actually the character theme for Sonic in this game. All the characters, they have their own themes. And this is Sonic's. Um, it Doesn't Matter was performed by to Tony Harnell. And you'll get to hear the full version of the song during the credits. So, um, here in a second, I'm going to cut off my commentary. And I'll be back to do a follow-up. I mean, to wrap up the playthrough and for Sonic. And, well, well, I'll be back here in just a minute. So, I'll be back soon.
And with that, Sonic's playthrough is now over. Oh boy, it was a crazy, crazy playthrough. What can I tell you? Um, as far as all the characters go, Sonic's playthrough isn't too difficult. It's not too difficult, but it's not too easy either. It's just middle of the road for the most part. Um, there are some characters that their gameplay, I think, it's more difficult. Um, actually, there's one character that I think that is more difficult. The others are pretty easy, I would have to say. I would have to say in terms of... Uh, but yeah, I would say that Sonic's playthrough is definitely the intermediate portion of the game for the most part. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the next part we're going to be playing as Miles Prowler, also known as Tails. Tails' playthrough is similar to Sonic's. Um, there are a few there are a few differences, which I'll go through in his playthrough. That, however, that playthrough isn't going to be coming for a little while because I need to record the comment. I need to record myself playing the game, and then after that, then I can spot cut up the um, video and do my commentary over it and whatnot. So that will be coming. So. I don't know when, but it will be coming. Hopefully before the end of August. <laughs> anyway, if you liked this video, please feel free to like the video on YouTube. Um, if you like my channel and all the videos I have on it, please feel free to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you have any, if you have anything that you'd like to say in order for the play th the let's plays that I'm doing to get better and better please leave your comments on my YouTube channel I will go through all the comments I'll read them I will try to reply to all of them and together we can make my videos better because I'm doing this for you all and I'm doing this because this is a lot of fun actually <laughs> yeah so um the Tales playthrough, it's coming. I don't know when, but ch keep looking at my YouTube page, and it'll be there eventually. So, <laughs> until then, everybody, ciao for now, everybody. Bye. <laughs>